William Carr Beresford, guys, against a massive force by Auguste Marmont. And we are here, of course, in northern Spain, uh, in the Pyrenees. So it's going to be interesting to see whether or not we can actually get a victory here. Let's jump in and take a look. All right, so for once, we get to be on the defensive here, guys. I think the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and unload our cannons. We've also got this beautiful explosive shell that can do really, really serious damage to uh, the French lines. I'm going to also unload these guys. I don't think they have explosive shell as well, but I've got to make use of these woods. So I'm actually going to grab these units. They've been in several fights. We've even got some Portuguese light infantry here. Uh, and I'm going to actually push them over here to the very center of the woods. Try to create a sort of hornet's nest, uh, a la American Civil War here. And just make sure that they don't don't even enter. So we've already got those explosive rounds. I don't know if we're going to be able to clear this uh, distance, but let's hope we can. There they go. Outgoing. Glory to the king. God save the king, I should say. Over here on the right side, we're just going to keep our guys in a sort of reserve uh, situation. Come on, boys. We will save Spain from the French invasion, no matter what happens. Alright, Hornet's Nest is being set up right now. We're just waiting for... Uh, for anybody to come through, but right now their their artillery is knocking a lot of our men um, out of their formations, and that can of course be a problem. Oh boy, we've got enemy um, cavalry approaching. We've got our own cavalry as well. I didn't want to have to use it. Don't forget, we do have that square formation, folks. So we also don't have to worry about that. And we've got a lot of cavalry here, so I, I might just go ahead and try to overwhelm these guys. If if anything, I'll at least move up a bit. All right, gunfire has begun. The battle has begun in earnest. Full the king, boys. We're already losing a few men here. And that uh, French regiment is definitely a problem. But I like to think that we've got a pretty good position here. All right, let's start moving up with our reserves. And with our cavalry, I'm going to do a little something special here. Not before I bring the reserves in, though, for the flanking shot. No, don't tell me that now. Right. These are the King's uh, Light Foot units, guys. Very, very good. Judge! Especially since they're just now past our lines. I don't like that. These are Light Dragoons. Not looking good for the Light Dragoons. Let's hope that the Portuguese cavalry are a little more successful here. And oh, yes! Looks like the French are in trouble. And they've actually increased the morale of those Dragoon units. But uh, our British infantry right there in the front are having some trouble. And it's primarily because the French are charging here. We've got massive numbers. And it's, I can kind of understand why they do that. Alright, let's fire right at the enemy. Push forward. We want to get into square formation right here, guys. That would be absolutely perfect. a light skirmisher unit. Oh, they can't get into square formation. All we can really do is try and kill these guys. And it's hell for both sides. Good shooting, boys. Good shooting. So we got plenty of cavalry over here. Um, although I didn't think it would come down to cavalry in this battle. We've got our guys fighting here in the center. That's where we're going to send the cavalry guys to assist. Our men are running. Under any circumstances, we're not even keeping the general near our men, really. We'll push him up a bit more. But with this enemy infantry here, it's it's really dangerous. Cavalry! Go, boys! The charge of the Light Brigade. A little bit stronger, even, than the charge of the Light Brigade. There we go.
get to the full simple, I say. All right, that was beautiful. Uh, we still got Frenchman fighting here. I'm getting the, the, the feeling that they're probably going to retreat pretty soon. Uh, and there's some actual Grenadiers in there, but they haven't used those grenades yet. I love seeing those things being used, uh, and I would hate to use one of these old-fashioned grenades. Running, so. They were actually known to go off uh, prematurely quite often. Let's get into square formation here. And it looks like our artillery are firing that uh, canister shot over here. Or, excuse me, that explosive shot. Gotta get that right. No ammo left here. Let's charge on the enemy Dragoons. Every man for himself. Come on, boys. Yep, they're going down. Unbelievable. The battle is not over yet. All right, once again with the cavalry, guys. Uh, looks like these guys actually have gotten into a square formation. We're about to, anyway. But too late for that now. And the cavalry are the, without a doubt, the uh, champions of this fight. Uh, you can see they've also been in a few fights themselves uh, with the rankings there. So they sort of have some uh, battle experience. They're veterans for sure. But man, I've never seen them perform this well. I mean, don't forget we're playing in hard mode here. And we're doing an amazing job. We shouldn't be able to route these units this easily. But whatever works. Okay, we're taking explosive shots as well. We have killed their general, sir. Beautiful. The general is down. And that's going to be Auguste Marmont. Although our general is also in trouble. I want to keep him back way too close for comfort that's actually our own um our own rounds so let's go ahead and advance guys they've got some artillery here in the woods let's finish these off and that should be the end of the battle i'm hoping uh it's been an absolute bloodbath i mean it really has uh, especially in that hornet's nest we set up but i think we more or less did the job we got the job done over here we just have excellent examples of the amount of men that fell during this fight Despite all the cover, it made really no difference at the end of the day. Many good men fell, but I believe this is going to be a victory, my friends. We could be really mean and try and chase the rest of these guys down, but I, I don't think we need to. I think we've established our dominance in this fight. These woods will henceforth be known as the Haunted Woods of Salamanca. Nobody wants to come here. Glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. Wow, they've got another general here, guys. A second general staff. Wow, that shot actually uh, sort of made him rethink that. Uh, should have tried to get into the square formation. It's a bit late for that. Let's just go for a charge. I'm pretty confident we can wipe these guys out, especially with that supporting fire. We're not running away from any of these guys right now. No, I want to see if we can get another general kill. Let's just make sure that we got him. All right, guys. If you enjoyed this battle, make sure to hit that like button, comment down below, uh, and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see some more strategy content. We really need as much support as we can get. So even if you're here and you've been here regularly, like, you know, maybe shout something out on Twitter, share with your friends on Facebook. Let's try to get some more people into the channel. Thank you again, guys. Take care. And that's definitely going to be a victory. We'll go ahead and take a look and see exactly what kind of victory. So a close one, and I can understand why. But, man, was that a beautiful one. Right there, seven, that, 711, not quite that many, 711 men unkilled on our side, 1,168 killed on the enemy side. Uh, and Pamplona, Navarra is ours. I thought it was Salamanca, but it's actually in Navarre. Thank you for watching, guys. You I'll catch you on the next one. Very soon.